this morning, changes are officially coming to your child's social studies class. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us live. And Richard, the State Board of Education approving new guidelines for teachers to discuss things like race and discrimination in the classroom. Absolutely correct, Sarah. Good morning to you. Good Friday morning, all. Basically, these are just like you said, guidelines, meaning they're just something to tell teachers this is something you could talk about, but in the end, it'll come down to each teacher and school district's discretion. The state school board has voted 7 to 3 to approve the supporting documents that include a revised glossary of terms to be used in social studies classrooms. These new guidance will help teachers navigate conversations about racism and discrimination. They provide educators with example topics and projects they can use to teach the new standards, which differ from prior standards on history and discrimination. Absent from the glossary are terms such as systematic racism, systematic discrimination, or gender identity. Educators are not required to use the approved documents, and ultimately school districts, school teachers have the authority over curriculum and lesson plans. They could choose to use some of the examples included in the guidance documents or come up with their own. Yeah, and it's also important to note that there are some concerns about some of these topics or the, the inclusion or exclusion of some. For instance, in a fifth grade topic suggested people who've made a change. One of the choices that was not listed as a woman who's made a change, Sandra Day O'Connor, the first U.S. Supreme Court justice, who incidentally of the people who they did name, mention in that particular section, were all people who maybe you would say Democrats like. Sandra Day O'Connor, a Republican, was not on that list. Just one of the things that will ha that people are concerned about, uh, this all could start next school year. Of course, that is pending final approval. We'll have more on that as time progresses. But for now, we're right here in Uptown. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.